first moved to Glasgow, it was a very confusing and uh, perplexing time for myself. I'd been through most of primary school in a completely different city, built up a life for myself and had friends. Um, gotten used to how things were. To me, at the time, it felt like I was being ripped away from everything that I had already known. Now in my older age, I see Glasgow in such a different way than I did before. It's um, kind of almost funny to think back to how much I hated this place, because now it's the place where I want to die. I don't want to leave Glasgow. There's just so much going on. There's just uh, so much life in the city. There's, there's such a great music scene. Um, there's so many great communities out there as well. Um, so many grassroots movements. There's just so much to see, so much to do, so much to hear. It's just, uh, it's a really beautiful city when you look in all the right places. Um, I mean, you give it some time. I've never really thought about music really being my main outlet. It's just kind of always been my main outlet, if that makes sense. It's just been like, that's kind of what I'm naturally drawn towards. I don't know if it's just the fact that it's the only medium where like I get to scream and shout. Um, there's just something very primal um, about making lots of noise. Um, and there's something very satisfying about all of that noise that you're making, sounding good to other people. Um, so I guess that's why I chose it. I, I don't know, I've never really thought about it. Um, it's just always just kind of been the thing that I've gravitated towards the most, is music. Even just before I even used it as my outlet, it was already a way for me to um, cope with things. Uh, with me to listen to music, I've always been very much influenced uh, by me. Um, I think I make the music that I make because um, I'm a very angry person, um, even though I don't come off as it. Uh, I'm a very uh, chill person on the outside, but uh, underneath I'm very, um, as someone once said that I, I look up to, um, I'm very capably violent on the inside. Um, I think the reason why I'm so drawn to punk uh, and hardcore in general is just I think there needs to be that extreme in life where you know life is so full of all this crap of the you know always being happy and like looking on the bright side of things and like it almost feels like we're kind of drowning in this like happiness and it's it, most of it isn't even real most of it's just um, people basically saying they're happy faking it until they make it type crap um, and it gets to the point where we're so obsessed with being happy that uh, we don't want to take time to think about the harder things in life. Um, and I think that people need to have the hard things in life thrown in their face sometimes. They need to be uh, forced to look at things that they don't want to look at um, or hear about things that they don't want to hear about because uh, I think living in a bubble of just uh, happy-go-lucky for the rest of your life is a boring way to live. Um, yeah. Track is a project run by Articulate that aims to reach out to young people across Scotland who are often involved with social work and offer them an opportunity to write, compose and produce their own songs, taking them through every step of the process that someone in the industry would go through to give them an authentic feel of what it's like to make a song that can be shared on streaming platforms. My first introduction to track was as a participant on the very original track project that happened and I can say um, as someone who's had first-hand experience um, going through all the processes that um, the track project takes the young people through, it's, it can be quite a power, powerful experience. Um, just 
being able to um, have your ideas uh, you know, visualized and represented um, so accurately uh, and in a way that like to many young people would be impossible because the amount of skill and money that it would take to, to even produce a single song obviously isn't in with most people's uh, reach. Um, so yeah, it's just amazing to be able to like feel like you're actually like, you know, a superstar making making a song, um, and just to be able to feel that like you've achieved something, you've made something that's actually yours that you've created, and it's all came out of your head. Um, my creative process is uh, extremely hectic. It's very much zero or one hundred. It's a very black and white process. I'm either able to create or I'm not. Um, usually the process is just muck around on the guitar until I get a riff that sounds kind of cool and is easy to play. Then I'll record that riff on um, a piece of software on my computer. Um, then I'll play that track over and over and over again whilst I'm writing lyrics and I'll just basically just think of whatever comes to my head first and that's what will be the lyrics. I don't really go through a lot of refinement when it comes to my lyrics, they're very usually very raw. Um, and same with the, with the guitar, I usually just play very very raw, very simple stuff. Um, but yeah, that's usually what my creative process is like. It's usually very uh, natural. I try not to force things, so yeah. I write the music that I write as an outlet for the energies that I have building up inside of me. Um, there's a lot of uh, anger uh, and angst, um, things that I'm very frustrated with. Um, and I find it hard to get those emotions out and they tend to build up a lot um, and come out in very negative ways so writing the music that I write and performing and playing the music uh, is a cathartic experience for me, it's very much therapeutic, um, it's like punching a punching bag but I get to scream <laughs> and yell at the sight of I genuinely feel that if I didn't make music I would be in a very different position than what I am today.